three to two win tonight. You take a lead, you fall behind, you come back with two goals in the second half. Uh, overall, what were your thoughts about the way your team played tonight? Um, yeah, I was, I was happy with the uh, resiliency that was shown. Um, yeah, I mean, we score a goal 15 minutes in, and then I think we play pretty well in the first half, and then things kind of get away from us towards the end of that first half. And then, yeah, we give up, uh, you know, two goals late on set pieces that we could have done better with. Uh, probably some, you know, some silly fouls, and they were dangerous on set plays tonight. So, um, but, yeah, you come in at halftime, and then, you know, I mean, there, there was belief in the – in the room that we would find uh, find a goal. I didn't I didn't know we'd find it less than a minute in, and then you know you find the second you know shortly thereafter. Um, yeah, ha really happy with them. Um, it's interesting because we haven't really been in a you know from a leading position in, in a game like that, and in, in, you know whatever it is, 15 months. You know the, the other games that we've won, you know we never had to close one out. They were they were kind of they were already done. So. Um, we, we need to do better to seal games off, but, uh, yeah, pleased with how it went down. You mentioned there was belief in the room at halftime, uh, that you'd find another goal. Did you make any adjustments or tactical changes coming out of the, out of the locker room? I mean, not, nothing major. Uh, we needed to address a, a few things that were causing us problems. Um, and then, you know, those are, you know, those goals were, a ball into Harvey making a good run, a layoff to Skaga, and he scores from 25 to 30 yards out. I mean, he takes it really well. And then, you know, the the third goal is actually, you know, a pretty good goal that, you know, we get a, a good entry pass to, to to Gabby, and he combines with Canute and back to Gabby. It kind of looked like last year, a little combination between those two. And, you know, Skaga pulls off. It kind of gets caught between one of their defender's legs and falls right to him, and he takes it well. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're, you know, for, you know, to, to drop two games in a row and then to respond the way we did tonight after going down a goal, it's very easy for a team to say, here we go again, woe is me. Uh, but, you know, a little bit of belief and energy in the group and, you know, hopefully that'll, that'll get us going with some momentum here. A week ago, Skage Siemenson was sort of swallowed up, I guess, by the uh, UCF defense and tonight you changed your shape in the offensive end a little bit and he comes out with three goals so those goals are all chalked up to brilliant coaching decisions right um, yeah I mean that's what we tell people it's all about me <laughs> no I mean look it, it's it, there, there are minor minor tweaks I mean the, the change in shape is, is is not a massive move I mean it's it's 10 yards one way or another for a couple guys. Um, no, I mean, we thought that Skagi was very good back to goal and that um, we needed more guys around him when he held the ball up. So we needed some players further in advanced positions and that after reviewing the, the video with UCF, it was, it was too easy for teams to play against us and, and get around the edges. So um, yeah, we adjusted a few things, but um, yeah, it's not like it was a couple of meetings with players and, we were all on the same page really quickly to what, what the team needed to do to adjust. Um, and, and, you know, the guys bought in and, and trained well this week. And, you know, what, what, will, what will continue going forward? Um, you know, we'll look, at, we'll look at Tulsa and how, how they play. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll make some adjustments again, I think. And, you know, we'll get them ready for a good week of training and a big one come, uh, come next Saturday. Tonight was the second time you played UC USF this year. Obviously, the first one was a lopsided win for you, and you and their coach, Bob Budhorn, both said that the teams are very, very different now than they were a month ago. How much did you and your team discuss the fact that tonight wasn't likely to resemble a few weeks ago in Tampa in the first meeting? Yeah, I mean, like, this is the first year in the, in the league that we've gone. We've played everybody twice, and, you play, you know, you play home and home, and you got 10 games. It's tough. I mean, playing a team twice and beating a team twice is hard. Um, yeah, I mean, the game there is such a false, you know, false narrative, really. I mean, things – they get a guy sent off in the 10th minute. We score early. We score a second quickly thereafter. Um, things 
that was one of those nights that everything went right for us. You know, we scored some unbelievable goals and things all fell for us. It gives you a false sense of security for sure. And that um, you feel really good coming out of that game, but they're different. I mean, they're on a four game winning streak um, and they play a bit differently. They're a little more direct. They got some big guys up top and they pick up second balls and um, no, they're a tough team to play against. And they, um, no, I mean, they found some belief. They played some younger players and um, found, uh, you know, found answers and got on a roll. And that's in a short 10-game season, you know, they start 0-2 and, and then they run four in a row off against, you know, against good competition. They weren't, you know, it wasn't like they were, they were easy wins. So, no, they've, they've done really well. And, you know, they'll, they'll continue to fight. And, you know, that's, that's not a team that's going to go away at this point. They're going to. They'll continue to fight and make a run in the, in the conference tournament. And, you know, they still got a chance to – everybody's still in it at this point. Your freshman goalie, Cole Johnson, got his first win as a starter tonight. Had a huge save with about 20 seconds left. Um, curious how long you held your breath after that save and what were your overall thoughts on his performance tonight? Yeah, I mean, Cole had a, uh, you know, a solid performance. But, you know, he'll feel – he'll feel he could have done better on both of the two, both goals. Um, you know, the, the rebound, uh, we don't need to foul in that position, but then, um, you know, the ball gets on him quick off the turf and, uh, you know, he, he, he can do better in that situation. He, he knows it. And then the, the second one, you know, we've another needless foul in the middle of the field. Um, you know, it really comes out of nothing. I mean, the guy's basically on the end line outside the six and, just smashes it across and we, we don't deal with it. So, but then, you know, Cole sticks with it. The guys believe in Cole and, you know, he makes a big save with whatever it is, 10, 15, 20 seconds left to uh, caught going the wrong way and gets back across the goal and, you know, pushes it around, uh, around the post. So, no, I mean, Cole's, Cole's going to have some growing pains, but Cole's a very good goalkeeper and we have a lot of faith in him and, um, yeah, a ton of belief in what what he can do, and um, hopefully this is a, a freshman performance that he wasn't wasn't his best. But um, look, he he moved on. Uh, you know, he gave up two goals, and they're not all on him. But he gave up two goals in the first half, and you know he's got the the attitude and belief in himself, and he's a very confident young man. Um, he moves on, and you know he's got to pick one out with uh, you know with 20 seconds left to keep us keep us up three, two. So yeah, the guys are really happy with him. You know, the older players, everybody believes in him. So, um, you know, we keep pouring confidence into him because, you know, he's ready for this and he's done really well. Good win tonight. Now you get Papa Endoy back. What do you take from tonight building into your, your next game at Tulsa? Yeah. I mean, we're excited to welcome Papa back. He's trained well for the last two weeks. Um, you know, he's paid the price for, for a mistake, um, you know, now we, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what he can do, but, you know, we believe in Papa and, and know the, the quality that he has. Um, nothing, nothing more motivating than a couple of weeks watching the team drop a game and then, you know, find a result. Um, you know, he feels, I think a bit of relief that, uh, cause he knows his importance on the team. So, um, we're, we're looking forward to working with him this week and, and seeing what next week holds.